Hi, I'm Brian from Syntex Technologies. In today's SQL Accounting System tutorial, I talk about supplier payment. Let's go to SQL. When you want to make payment to your supplier, then you go to Supplier Module, Supplier Payment. So once you come in, you can see a list of all the supplier payment that have you created before. And you can notice that some of the supplier payment, there is a, something called UA amount. So UA amount means unapplied amount, meaning that you have created this supplier payment but have not knocked off with any invoice or debit note. So if there is a transaction over here and there is zero for the UA amount, meaning that this one have already knocked off and the knockoff details is at the bottom. So you can see that for this payment voucher or supplier payment already knock off with this particular invoice or it can be a debit note. So, if you want to search for a previous supplier payment that you have created before, you can make use of any of this column. Example, add supplier payment number. If you can remember the number, let's say you type the number, and it can search for you. Or, if you want to use another field that is not available over here, what you can do is right click any column title, field chooser, and you can drag out the field. Example, check number. Just drag, drop. And you can make use of the check number to search for the transaction. If you don't want, you can just click on it, left click, drag, drop. Back. Or another way is right click any column that you do not want, right click on it, then remove this column. So, there's another way is at the most left hand side, there is a very small button with multiple lines. Click on it, then you can click on the field that you want, example project. Then it will appear over here and untick, it will disappear. So let's create a new supplier payment. Click on new, then search for the supplier. Remember, you do not require to memorize the code for supplier or item or customer or account in SQL accounting system. So what you need to do is type the name it will do because now it will be using the name is bold and highlighted to do searching is the focus of searching. If let's say one day when you type the name nothing come up because your focus has run away. So what you need to do is keep click on the tap key on the keyboard tap 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 then you will come back to company name. So tap the supplier name and all this information will come out automatically and what you need to do is what payment method you are using to pay your supplier are you using your bank are you using your cash or things like that so basically in account this is your credit side okay so let's say i'm using the me bank to pay what is the check number or online transfer slip number as a reference number then how much you want to pay to your supplier is 100 pay for which invoice click on that this is what we call knockoff so let's say this 100 you do not just want to pay one and you want to separate it into let's say this one want to pay 80 then the other one want to pay 20 you can do partially payment then click on save and this is preview button and you can select different type of payment voucher templates, let's say this one then you can print the payment voucher of course, you can print it out or convert to PDF or other format then email to your supplier also can close left hand side, you can do some attachment maybe you can attach the actual bank in step click on plus, then do attachment now please remember, the attachment will not put the document or picture into SQL accounting system it, it will just create a link to that document if the link is removed or the document is not at the original place then the link will not work or you have deleted the document or picture the link also will not work okay so save it so this is how you're going to do for supplier payment thank you for watching I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies thank you